Rob's World. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rob, and Leela wanted to join in the movie as well, as you can see. I hope you're having a good holiday break. Today I'm going to show you how to make something pretty cool and uh, useful this time of year, an origami gift box. And you make one a little bit bigger than the other one so you can fit them on top of each other. These work really well for giving gifts this time of year, as you'll see. I have a gift for you. What is it? Oh no, hey, you give me treats and catnip. <laughs> Do you like the gift? Good girl. Yeah. You're going to need two sheets of paper. You can use printer paper, you can use origami paper, you can even use newspaper or even gift wrap. Be creative and have fun. Once you have the two sheets, you're ready to go. To start off, if you're not using a square paper, you could take the top edge, fold it across so that it's lined up with the left side, Make a crease along the bottom, and then you could tear the paper at that crease. If you're using origami paper, you want to have the colored side face up. Now that we have a crease going this way, I'm going to take the upper left corner and crease it across to the bottom right corner. Make a crease on that edge, and you can open the paper, and you'll see we have an X. Take the top edge and fold it down to the bottom edge. Once the edges are nicely lined up, then again you can make a crease on the top edge here. And of course I like to make the creases with my finger now. Open the paper up again, and then make a crease going the other way. So now if you open up the paper, you should have an X and a plus in the middle of the paper. Now we're going to turn the paper over. And I'm going to take each of these corners and fold them directly into the middle. Take the corner of the paper, fold it into the middle, and just make sure that both of these edges line up with the creases that we have in the paper. Once they're lined up, you can make a crease on the edge here. Do the same with the other corners. Just line it up like you would for an airplane, and then make a crease. So now you should have something that looks like this. We're going to turn the model a little bit like that so that it looks like a box. Now I'm going to take the top edge and the bottom edge and fold them directly on this horizontal line here. Take it and fold it down. And when it's lined up, you can make a crease on the top. Do the same with the bottom edge. Fold it and meet it up with the top edge, right at that middle line. Now you can open both of those edges up and turn it the other way. Take the top edge, line it up with the middle, and then make a crease. You might have to round the paper off a little bit here if it's a little stiff. Line it up, and crease it on the bottom. All right, guys. So we're pretty much ready to make the box now. So before we start, I'm just going to have you do a couple extra creases that we have already in the paper. So just take these four tips in the middle and just fold them up like this. Okay, then you can put them back in. Flip it over, and we're just going to fold on these two creases here. So just fold here, especially in the corners here. And also going this way. Okay, so now we can flip it back over. And we're going to open up these two flaps of the paper. So just pull on them like that. Now, I'm going to take these two edges and I'm going to put them back in the middle. So right along this crease, just lift up these two edges, put them in the middle, and just give them a quick little push. Now, we're going to close the box. And remember, it's a square. So this is basically where we're going to close it. All right, we're going to bring it in sort of like that. 
So I'm just gonna draw on a couple creases here so you see what's happening along them. We're going to take this edge right here and fold it inwards. And it should already have a crease on that diagonal line there. On these two folds, this is a valley fold, this is a mountain fold. So it's folded downwards here, and it's folded upwards here, like that. So just take this little triangle here, and push it against the paper, like that. Do the same with this triangle. Just fold it on this line, fold it in, and then what you do, just take your thumbs, and you can just push right in here. There you go. So that's how you lift up the edge of the box, and then all you need to do is to fold right along this crease. So this is the flap, we're gonna fold it into the box, push right on this wall, and this should already have a crease here, so you just gotta flatten it in. And that's how you put in the flap of the box to close it. Let's do the same with the other side. Again, we're going to press right on this crease and lift up the flap. We could bring these two edges right into the middle. And as you see, if you push on these two triangles, the corners will meet up in the middle and we can just flip this right into the middle of the box. And give it a good crease along the top here. Oops, there it goes. <laughs> That's okay. And then all you need to do is to pinch the corners of the box. And there you go. You have made the base of the box. So the lid of the box is made the same exact way. As you can see, in the paper I have an X and I also have a plus. I flip the paper over and put all four corners into the middle. Now at this point, I turn the paper and I'm going to put these four edges next to the middle line. This time, I'm not gonna fold it directly on top of the line. I'm going to leave a little bit of space, maybe about an eighth of an inch. I'll take the top edge, fold it in next to that middle line, leaving a little bit of space. Right about there should be good. And you might need to just round it off on the corner here. So there's the middle line, and there's the edge. Maybe about an eighth of an inch. Do the same with the bottom. So you can see there's a little space there left in the middle. And then do the same with the other two edges. Now again, open up all the edges and open these two flaps. Push the two edges into the middle of the paper. Tuck the corners in and push on that crease. Then you can use your thumbs to press and tuck the flap into the middle of the box and then crease on the top. Flip it around, tuck those two triangles in, and then push and lift with your thumbs. Tuck that flap in, and there you go. There's the lid. Now all you need to do is to fit them together and you've completed your box. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up down below. If you guys want to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Also, if you guys did want to send me anything, not gifts necessarily, but if you have any origami or whatever you want to send me letters, I have a new P.O. box now that you could find by checking out this address right here. I also got a new Google Voice number that I'm going to post down in the description. Be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you want to see next and if you enjoy the video. And I'll see you next time. Say bye, Leela. I got you a gift. What is it? It's a rubber ball popper. You have to flip it inside out and then pop it off your thumb. Try it out.